You know, climbing the ranks of arena can be challenging for many, many players. And at times, you know, it may feel impossible. You know, most everybody goes through the days where, you know, you're constantly just losing points over and over again. And so with the chapter two season seven, bringing in new things to the table, you know, playing the best of your abilities can be a bit confusing since arena isn't quite the same as the previous season. But your crush on me, where you at your motivation guy? Yeah, that's right, I am back. And today's video, we're gonna be talking about a variety of secret tips that you need to know to rank up fast in arena. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. All right guys, so the first tip that we're gonna be talking about is using the hand cannon to your advantage. All right, if you didn't know already, the hand cannon was recently brought back to the game with the release of chapter two, season seven, and most players don't use it like they should. So sure, the hand cannon has a slow fire rate and isn't you know, very forgiving when you miss your shots, but the epic variant does 75 damage to the body and has a times two headshot multiplier. All right, this means one headshot from the epic hand cannon does 150 damage, which is absolutely insane, considering many players in every lobby have exactly that much health, and all you have to do is just hit them with one good shot for a free elimination. Oof. Now, this sounds great already, but that's not even the best part about this weapon. All right, the epic variant of the hand cannon does 100 damage to structures, which may not sound very important, but this actually makes the hand cannon a viable option for taking enemy walls and is way better than using your pickaxe. This is because the hand cannon shoots instantly and can really be used to break wood and brick builds in one shot if hit directly after the build is placed or if the build is already lower than 100 HP. So using this trick, guys, will give you a high chance of claiming enemy builds, especially if your opponent isn't expecting it. So I encourage you right now as your motivation guy to give it a shot if you haven't already. All right, so the next tip that we're gonna be talking about to rank up fast in Arena is to take advantage of gold. By now, like everybody knows what gold is in Fortnite, and I'm sure you've used it multiple times in the past, but, but most players don't use it to its max potential. You know, using gold is a great way to minimize RNG and get yourself some really great loot early on in every game. This has always been useful for buying loot from different NPCs around the map, but gold has become more necessary to use than ever before with the release of the new season. This season has added another way to really earn yourself some gold apart from the usual methods such as like bounties and quests from NPCs. Like you can now earn gold by interacting with payphones that are scattered around the map and activating a quest of your choice. So after either like completing a quest or using another method, you can use your gold in multiple different ways for a competitive edge. Vending machines have been added back to the game in the form of mending machines, which sell heals for gold, and weaponomatics, which sell weapons for gold. So both of these machines hold very useful items that are sold for a very cheap price and should be used as much as possible in order to minimize RNG. Okay, so another way that you can take advantage of gold, guys, is by using it to buy weapons off the different NPCs around the map. All right, so one NPC to keep in mind is Sunny from Believer Beach, previously known as Sweaty Sands. You can find Sunny on the boardwalk and have a pretty decent chance of buying yourself a purple pump shotgun for only 100 gold, which is insanely cheap. Also, upgrade benches were added back to the game with the new start of the season, but the current upgrade prices are extremely high for Arena, so I really don't recommend wasting your gold on them unless you have extra that you don't need for anything else. So another tip that you need to know to rank up fast in Arena, guys, is to adjust your playstyle based on the loot you have as well as, you know, the loot your enemies have. You know, whether that would be, you know, taking advantage of a long range weapon by keeping your distance or by playing up close and personal with a close range weapon. A great example of this would be uh, if your opponent has a tactical shotgun, right? And you have a purple pump. In this situation, playing too close to your opponent may give them the opportunity to jump in your face with their tactical shotgun, which would leave you with no other option than to go for a one pump. So to avoid a situation like this, you should play a box or so away from your opponent and take advantage of the range your purple pump has until you can get the enemy to a low enough HP to really close up and then just finish them off. All right, of course, you should still be going for peace control during the fight, but you should do so without putting yourself in a vulnerable position. All right, you get it? Taking advantage of this in Arena for all the different weapon combinations will give you guys a higher chance of winning every single fight compared to the chance like you would have if you use the same playstyle for every single weapon. This one might take some practice, I get it, but it's definitely worth the try and it's a trick that you could use, really that you can add in every fight. Bunch of crush on me. All right, guys, it is time for the question of the day. You know, the arena hype reset happened a little while ago now. So, you know, we just want to know how far you've managed to climb so far. Let us know in the comments down below. And we're definitely going to check it out. All right, guys, back to the video. All right, 
So this next tip that you can use to rank up fast in Arena is to stick to a drop spot. I know we say this every time, but most of you guys are still not doing it. And so what I mean by this is to pick a spot on the map that you're most comfortable with and land there every single game. And this will increase your success rate dramatically in every game mode if you're not doing it already. And it works because you're gonna learn that drop spot more than the majority of the players landing there. And you could use that knowledge to outplay them since they most likely don't even fight there as much as you do. This knowledge consists of things like chest spawns or car spawns or you know places that you can surprise your opponents from. You know, where to farm, quick materials, uh, where to disengage if necessary, and so on. And in my drop spot that I use um, in Slurpee, like I'm telling you right now, I'm so confident when I drop there, man, I'm leaving there um, <laughs> with a bunch of eliminations, a um, bunch of loot. Um, I I'm, I'm good, man. I'm, I really set myself up for the rest of the game. And so you need your drop spot to really just set yourself up for the rest of the game. You know, I'm sure that many of you guys have seen the pros in tournaments, and it's because of the reasons similar to the ones that we're talking about right now. Like, they have an entire game plan that all starts with their drop spot, which is why it's so important to pick one that you're really most comfortable with and fighting at and rotating from. And once your drop spot and rotations turn into a habit, whew, now you can focus on more important things such as your mistakes and fights, instead of just being outplayed by opponents who know their drop spot more than you do. All right, so another tip that you can add into your playstyle to rank up an arena is having unpredictable movement. This one might take a little bit of practice, especially if you've never focused on your movement before, but having unpredictable movement is actually one of the most important things to master in Fortnite. Okay, so a simple example of this is when you see players jumping up and down while running around the map. Obviously, they're doing this to avoid being sniped or beamed from an enemy player while running in the open. But nowadays, you know, doing this is more hurtful than it is helpful since, since enemies can just use the jump to their advantage by just beaming or sniping player as they're in the air. So a more safe option in these situations, guys, is to strafe side to side without doing the same movements over and over again. This way, enemies can't predict what your next move is gonna be and will likely just barely hit you or completely miss their shots. This isn't like the main area of the game you need good movement for though. Like it's very important to have good movement while you're in close range fights. Okay, as an example, let's say that you box up an opponent and just make a window edit in front of you to just go for a shotgun shot. This isn't the worst play, but your opponent would have a pretty easy opportunity to hit a shot on you since the majority of your character model can be seen through the window. All right, so now let's just say that you make the same window edit, but stand to the left side of the window and strafe into it for a right hand peek shot. This is a great play since not only will you have the right hand peak advantage, but also a smaller amount of your character model will be seen for a shorter amount of time. This is a perfect example, guys, of taking advantage of good movement, and it's something everybody can add into their play style. But of course, this isn't the only way to have good movement in close range fights. But you should constantly be taking advantage of your unpredictable strafes and peaks in your fights to destroy your opponents without giving them a chance to hit a shot on you. Feel free to watch the pros in close range fights, man, just to see how they take advantage of good movement. All right, put your current saw me. It's time to do a quick recap before we end this video. Make sure that you use the hand cannon to your advantage for long range shots and free wall takes on your opponents. Also, don't forget to use gold as much as possible to buy weapons and heals to minimize your RNG. Another thing to remember, be sure to adjust your playstyle based on your loot and your opponent's loot. All right, also stick to landing at a drop spot that you're most comfortable with to gain knowledge and get the confidence going, man, so you can feel unstoppable in every early game, man, that'll definitely set you up for the rest of the fight. Is, that has definitely changed my life playing Fortnite. All right, and lastly, practice unpredictable movement to avoid taking damage as much as possible in all situations. All right, guys, so those are the secret tips that we think that you need to know to rank up in arena this season. And so the grind up to Champions Division can be long and hard. I mean, we get it. And we know that some of you guys fall short every single season, but that doesn't mean that you should give up. And if you keep grinding, you're gonna be able to make your dreams to eventually come a reality, man. You can do it. I believe in you guys. You guys just gotta keep grinding. Hey, if you liked the video, make sure you sub to the channel. And if you wanna connect with me on my Instagram, I'm right here at Your Motivation Guy. See you on the next one. Peace. Oh,